I got assigned to a combat logistics unit in Camp Fallujah, Iraq. They were closing Camp Fallujah at the time because we were getting ready to give it back to the Iraqi army, supposedly. The American military is the best of the world at, you know, fucking shit up. <laughs> like, if you want to take over a country, like, that's... How many countries has America just flat taken over? Like, even the wars people say we lost, like, Vietnam or Korea was a stalemate, like... We still took over the country, <laughs> you know what I mean? But the, the hard part is the after part, like, what happens after that? Like, what, what do you do after? It's just like, it's been, what, 10 years? <laughs> it's 10 years already. And, um... You know, the average person just wants to go to work, go to school, Kind of lights on, there's electricity, there's running water. A lot of them are to the point where, like, 10 years later, like, there's no water, there's no electricity. <laughs> you know, there's barely any schools, there's no jobs. It's like someone didn't think about the long term plan. They base everything on tribes, so, like, a lot of them don't get along. It's funny because it's kind of like Americans. We're a Tea Party and we're liberals, and it's the same way over there, except for they might kill you over it. You know what I mean? Once they commit to working on the base a lot of times, like, they're fucked. You know, we had translators that they lived with us. Like, they didn't have a choice. Like, you know, if they went back home, they would have to make up some story about, oh, I'm working, and hurting some sheep or something. A lot of times they don't understand English, but when you start waving an M16, like, people will get the hint. Like, you can say, stop, get out your car, and they'll look at you like, and you're like, stop, get out your car, and they're like, oh, this motherfucker wants me to get out the car. <laughs> you know, people start to understand real quick when there's a fucking rifle at their face. When you're in the heat of the moment and you're like a fucking haji, you know what I mean? I'm gonna fucking blow his head off. And it's natural with any occupying force. I think you have to do it. Like you can't, you can't be in those situations and think of the other person as like a person. Okay, if I don't shoot at that car and that's a bomb, <laughs> you know what I mean? Not only may I get it, but like the marine next to me might get it. And then if he gets past me and he gets on the base and he hits the chow hall in the middle of lunch, that dude just killed like, you know, 700 marines. So. That's the hard part to think of that, that other, that enemy combatant as a person. Because at the end of the day, yeah, yeah, he's probably like somebody's dad or somebody's uncle. You know, or she's somebody's, she's somebody's mom, she's somebody's daughter. You can't be the nice guy about it. <laughs> if that car doesn't stop and they don't understand English, you know, fuck it. You, got, you know, if they don't stop, you have to open a fire. It doesn't matter who's in it, you know, at the end of the day. Later on, if you start to think like, the Hodge is a person. You know what I mean? You go crazy in your first fucking month. Mm -hmm.